Hello and welcome to a new video about virtual reality. This time we are going to talk about fields of application of our virtual reality. Well, there are a number. There are a number. One very commonly known field of application is the training. Training of pilots, for instance. Flight simulator. Virtual reality. I'm sitting in some sort of cockpit, some input devices. I'm sitting in front of an, in a cave or something like this, yeah, and I can operate yeah, my Airbus, my Boeing, whatever, yeah, and this is reacting like the real thing, and I can train dangerous situations, I can train, I can simply do training, pilot training. Yeah. This is a very commonly known, but also in other industries we use it. Yeah. Virtual reality to check if something, if a new machine is good enough, if the usability is good enough. Yeah. That's one big topic, check of usability. And not in a situation where we already built the thing. No. Huh? <laughs> already during development, I can check if it's better to put a knob here or put a knob there or put a knob. Yeah? And how is this inter interacting with the machine? Huh? How is this possible? Is this still usable? This this machine I want to design. Yeah? I can check different layouts and so on and see what is better. Huh? Check, user, check of usability. Yeah? Even the whole human system interaction yeah, can be tested. Yeah? This is not only usability, this is maybe also informing yeah? or is something annoying or do they, does the user understand what the system is telling him yeah? and vice versa. Yeah? This is not only usability that something is smooth to operate, this is a little bit more. Yeah? Uh, so this saves time simply in development. Uh, if I do it right the first time, yeah? and do not have to check what went wrong with field tests and so on, yeah, it's, it's better, yeah, simply to save money. Yeah. One thing is for sure, yeah, there, so, uh, a field of application is for sure the training of personnel at dangerous situations. Yeah. So, training for dangerous situations. It must not be a nuclear power plant, but also there. Yeah? We can simulate what might happen, yeah? and we can train the stuff in virtual reality without, without the, the, the risk of an explosion. <laughs> yeah? That the in case react correct. Yeah? This is also done on, on driving driving instructions and, and the driving simulations, the flight simulations and so on, training for dangerous situations. Yeah there are even you know there are even uh, jumpers yeah base jumpers or or something like this yeah parachute warriors soldiers yeah who train how to operate this parachute and so on, yeah? with a special virtual reality to see, to simply not to be a noob when you really do it. Yeah? Training for dangerous situations. Yeah? This helps to analyze, to prevent dangerous stuff, yeah? that the persons do it correct. There we are again at the requirements. Yeah? If 
in reality than at a real dangerous situation, it looks different than in the simulation, then you know, then you're un insecure. Huh? So there you really have to know what you're doing. Check of usability, human system interaction, training of dangerous situations. Also, also training for things which are performed only once. Things which are performed only once, yeah, which have been done maybe in a similar way, but at a different application, and then you want to maybe check it before. Yeah. One thing is, for instance, the training of, of a surgery. Yeah. It's a complex surgery. Yeah. Every human is different. Yeah. So it would be nice for the surgeon to train in a virtual reality and see and prepare a little bit. Aha, yeah. uh -huh, okay, there is... Then we come to the point where we need data from, from the object, from the patient. <laughs> the object. Who are you? I'm the object. <laughs> data from the patient, yeah, this magnetoresonance or, I don't know, MR, CT, and then, then feed this data to compile this virtual reality for the training of the surgery. Okay. Other field of application, also medical, uh, is, is, is virtual recreation. Yeah? Yeah. To display spiders, yeah? if you have fear, if you to overcome fears, display heights or something like this. Yeah? This is typical field of application. To bring persons into situations they, they learn, they need to learn how to deal with. Huh? She's situations not suitable in real. Huh? So if there is a phobia of something and I can start with a small spider huh? and then slowly get used to big spiders yeah? and maybe fear allows the fear also in reality of the small spider in the corner of the room. <laughs> This is also a field of application. Yeah? And bigger and bigger, edutainment. Yeah? Edutainment. Educate, some, educate someone with entertainment. Yeah? So there are tours, for instance, which you can take, where you can experience how it is yeah, to, 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 ride, to ride on a bus as I've read the tours how it is that you can ride on the bus if you're colored yeah? or, or how it was to cross the border in from, from west to east Germany somewhere in Berlin yeah? you sit in a bus and then this personnel is coming in checking everything and so on yeah? how to, to make this, this experience, to make you more sensitive about certain stuff, yeah? edutainment. This is also a big field of application of virtual reality. To experience something that you cannot experience because it's in the past or because you don't fulfill the requirements and so on. Yeah? That's it. Yeah? These are typical field of applications for virtual reality. I mean, I'm not sure if I told you something new, uh, but I wanted it to mention. Next time, we're going to talk about we're switching to augmented reality. I said, yeah, you know, it's a continuum, but we will see where we end up. Okay. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.